Now, in this video, I will I will teach you how to deal with misleading question in a very formatted shortcut way so that you will get your answer very quickly. You remember this question which I discussed in the last video, and we were at the end. I mean, we were here. And what is the problem? You can write this way, that's fine. You can solve it this way as well. But the problem here is that it may take some more time to calculate because there would be one multiplication, subtraction and addition and then again one division. You have to be a bit careful here. So how can how can the shortcut be applied to, to find the value of, uh, I mean to find the answer? of this question okay this 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 part what you learned here is the exact mathematics conceptual things but in the next part you should know how to solve this question in a shortcut way so let's find it so this is exactly the same question 15 number of students being 50 and their average is 80 so that's fine later it was found that 12 and 91 were misread as 21 and 19 find the correct average so in this part you have to do one thing you just note it down n equal to 50 and average equal to 80 keep it in your mind or write it somewhere in your answer sheet something like that keep it there this will be used later it was found that in the next sentence that there would be misreading information there would be information like which are the numbers which are wrong and there are numbers which are right so try to understand later it was found that 12 and 91 were misread as 21 and 19. In this statement it is obvious that 12 and 91 were correct marks and these correct marks were misread as 21 and 19. So these were wrong marks. 19, 12 and 91 were misread as 21 and 19 so these are the wrong marks. So what you will do in the step one, step one, add the correct marks. So in the step one, you will do adding up the correct marks. So this is adding up the correct marks means 103. I added 12 and 91. So identify the correct marks, identify the wrong marks and in the step one, you add up the correct marks. In the step two, you add up the wrong marks. The wrong marks means 21 plus 19 this becomes 40 so in the step one you added up the correct marks in step two you added up the wrong marks and in step number three subtract these two 103 minus 40 so step one minus step two you will have to do this in this step so 103 minus 43 so this is your answer 63 so to to get the value of 63 you have done all the steps so in the step 4 what will you do 63 this is your answer divided by n n is the number of students so you'll have to do this 63 by 50 this is a factor that you have to find out and plus the average what is given in the question plus 80 this is your new average so I will remind you I will I will repeat all this information once again and you have to know the shortcut how I am solving this question. First, add up the correct marks. So 12 plus 91, this is 103, that's fine. Then in the second step, add up the wrong marks. 21 plus 19, so this is 40, this is wrong marks. Now in step 3, subtract these two, 103 minus 40. This number can be negative as well, don't worry about it. Whatever number it comes, you just have to record it. 103 minus 40, so this is 63. In this case, so now, now when you get this, now it is obvious. I mean, now there is no, not so, so much hard work. You just write 63, divide by number of students. Remember that here in the denominator part, there will be the number of students. Whatever number of students you have written here, just write it down here. 63 by 50 plus the average that you had written. So 80 is the average given in the question what you recorded at the very beginning so plus 80 this is your new average this is the shortcut that you should remember and you should apply in these kind of questions if you do this way questions can be solved very quickly and you will save a lot of time which can be used in the other questions so remember time is very important and you should know the shortcuts in 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 the in, in appropriate questions where you can use it 
so uh, if you have understood it correctly let's move on to the next video if you have not understood it re-watch this video to know the concept once again so that you can use this shortcut in the next videos and in the exams as well good luck and see you in the next video to know to solve one more question from this mystery concept good luck